As Russian forces continue their surge into Ukraine, turning towns into rubble and setting off an exodus of a size not seen in Europe since the Second World War, the first attempt at a ceasefire has failed. We urge Russia to stop shooting to allow civilians, including foreign students, leave the uh, cities which they are trying to destroy by air raids, by artillery, by rockets. The temporary truce was meant to give citizens living under siege in two frontline cities a chance to escape. In the port city of Mariupol, residents have reportedly been without heat, electricity or water for days. Russia's defense ministry claims its units opened humanitarian corridors to get people out and aid in. But Ukrainian officials stopped the evacuations, accusing the Russians of keeping up their attacks. In the 10 days since the war began, the United Nations Refugee Agency says 1.3 million people have now left, with few belongings and the knowledge they may never return. For now, UK intelligence says Ukraine is holding on to the second largest city, Kharkiv, and three other key cities, but warns it is highly likely they are surrounded by Russian troops. Video released by the Ukrainian army in the Kharkiv region claims to show captured Russian hardware. So far, invading forces have been met with strong resistance and protest, even in places that have been overtaken. On Saturday, in the first major urban center to fall into Russian hands, hundreds took to the streets, many waving Ukrainian flags in a brave display of patriotism. Russia is, of course, also being met with punishing unity from the West. But on Saturday, President Vladimir Putin threatened retaliation. He called sanctions already imposed against Moscow equivalent of a declaration of war adding that international pushback was putting the future of Ukraine's statehood at risk. Karen Siolin, City News.